guys. Cheers. Cheers. Another 17 years. <laughs> okay guys, we got one trying to molt here, coming out of a shell. He's been underground for 17 years. And now he has climbed up this tree. He's gonna shed his skin. And for a little while, he'll be this white color and he will be soft. And that is whenever you want to collect them, if you're going to eat them. I've already collected a bunch. They're in the freezer. Just wanted to show you this process of how they come out of the ground after 17 years. They molt their shell. Oh, check him out. He might be about to spread his wings. You can do it, little buddy. Anyway. Tomorrow we're going to saute some of these little guys up and see what they taste like. They're related related to crustaceans. They're supposed to taste like shrimp. Pretty neat creatures. He's just slowly working his way out of that shell. He's been underground for 17 years feeding on the roots of these trees. Alright guys, as you can see this guy's completely out now. He's spread out his wings and blood is getting to all his body. And he will spend the night hardening his shell and tomorrow he will be black and he will go off and find a mate, breed, they'll lay their eggs in the ground which will hatch in another 17 years and they will have served their purpose in nature and they will die. Pretty interesting creatures. Brood X. Alright guys, we got our cicadas ready. They have been in the freezer. Freezing them helps get rid of some of the bacteria that might be in them. They are soft. We went and picked them out at night whenever they were shedding their exoskeletons before they hardened. And we're going to start with some cicada kebabs to get a true feel for what a brood ex cicada tastes like. Just by itself. We're just going to cook it in some peanut oil. Guys are getting crunchy on one side, we're gonna crunch up the other side. Get these guys cooking. Alright guys. Crispy, crunchy zacadas. Give them a try, see what they taste like just by themselves, and then we'll make a recipe with the rest of them. They gotta cool down a bit though, they're pretty hot. Okay, guys, cheers. 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 Another 17 years. Oh. Oh, it might have been cooked a little bit too long. That's Maybe a little bit too long. Disintegrated. Uh -huh. it disintegrated. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes like peanut oil. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't bad. Cheers. Hey. One good. Okay, that was too far. Yeah, good? one your best. It didn't. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like mm -hmm. peanut oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do better with the fried rice. Fried rice is coming out. <laughs> okay, great. All right, so this, all right. Now we're gonna make some fried zakata fried rice. These guys cook super fast. We figured that out from the last go. We're gonna shake up some egg. We're gonna go ahead and take these guys out so they don't overcook like the appetizer did. Sesame oil in there. Nobody's allergic to sesame, right? Okay. I know. All right. All right, guys. The vegetables have been sautéing. They're done. There's not a lot of room in this wok, so we're just gonna 
stick those over here with the cicadas. And we'll mix it all back in when it's done. Get that back on the heat. We're gonna add a little more peanut oil in. A little more sesame. Fry up our rice. Already had some cooked rice. Just gonna fry that up. And I'm curious. Alright. I got the egg and milk. The deal. Mmm, these little wings. Okay, we're gonna try one that was a little less cooked. Go ahead, Taylor. Nope. That was better. That was better? Yeah. Okay. Your assessment's making me brave. They're holding on to each other. Alright, guys. I don't even, I can't even compare what it tastes like. Not shrimp. No. But it's not bad. Actually, that one's pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. So the key is don't overcook them? Yeah. Don't overcook them. Zakata fried rice up next. All right, we're gonna go ahead and serve Taylor up some of this Zakata fried rice. See if she likes it a little better than the appetizer that I overcooked a little bit. Sure, we get some good ones in there. All right, Taylor. Top it with some teriyaki. Let me know what you think. Their little eyes are staring at me. Dalton, right now. Dalton. Dalton. What? She's. Ready? Yep. Apricot, though. This is a. Tastes apricot. like stir fry. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're not bad. They got like a little bit of a crunch to them, kind of like shrimp. Yeah. But mostly they just mm -hmm. absorb the sesame oil and the, the peanut oil. Right. Taste. You just take on the flavor of whatever you're cooking with. Yeah. Okay, guys. Give it a little try myself. Put some teriyaki on there. First, we're just gonna try one of the bugs by itself. Yeah, Taylor's right, it doesn't taste like anything. It takes on the flavor of the teriyaki and the rice. It's not bad. Not what I would expect. Different, for sure. I wouldn't compare them to shrimp. No. Team Rave, you got this. You can see the eyes. You got it. I've eaten like 10 of them. <laughs> it doesn't taste like it. Just saw it. Punch. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get a taste, but uh, eating a bug is no good. It's like a pure source of protein. Nope. <laughs> I'll stick to meat. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells good. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got Dan a plate with some good bugs on it. Do you want any teriyaki? Uh, no, I think I'm fine. Oh, okay. look at this. This looks so appetizing. Just oh, looking at you. Here it is. Here's mud in your eyes. Go. Nice and delicious. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Better than the first time around, huh? Yeah. Way huh? better than that, Feather. 
that. Here we go. We got another one. Mmm. And very delicious. Mmm. They're not moving. <laughs> I hope not. Mm. Very delicious. There it is. Can I have another one? Donna, why do you just drop all these leaves and sit over there? Very good. Very good. Thanks for trying them out. Yes. Mm. Okay, you ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, you saw it here first. Zakata fried rice from Brood X. They've been waiting 17 years to come out of the ground just for us to stir fry them. <laughs> we had some fun. We let some go too. We didn't eat them all. Believe me, there's billions out there still making more baby zicadas for you to try in another 17 years. You can probably hear them. Thanks for tuning in. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in that next one. Guys, have a good one. Cheers. Can't wait to know 17 years. We'll try again. <laughs> Very good.